Welcome back. It's time for me to try my hand for the first time at painting mountains and rock formations. I started out by painting the entire mountain using the latex paint that I had previously purchased and used on the other modules. Turns out it wasn't the best color to start with. It was hard to cover up and I ended up overspraying with other colors way more than I would have otherwise had to. Then I moved the entire thing outside so I didn't have the fumes in the house. I started out using three different paint colors. A concrete gray, camouflage beige, and camouflage brown. Trying to cover over the green that I started out with and I alternated using the different colors trying to uh, create texture in the rock. I then ended up using a device that I found uh, at, uh, at Lowe's that allowed me to mix paint up in a bottle and uh, use an aerosol spray attachment to the jar uh, and had used some, uh, some red and brown colors to uh, create highlights. I got a fairly decent color, uh, but it's hard to see here. Uh, there was way too much green left over when I was done. So I ended up overspraying multiple times again and then eventually brought it in the house. I then used watered down acrylic paints and a spray bottle with water in it to further add texture to the rock and, uh, and try to create some veining of different minerals within the rocks. And spent a lot of time doing this. Uh, it took me a long time to figure out and get the right technique. I alternated between uh, a beige color and burnt umber and uh, continued uh, streaking the rock and then overspraying with the water bottle. Uh, a lot of it would run off uh, and uh, so I had to keep reapplying uh, to the same places over and over again. I then oversprayed the entire mountain again with the concrete color spray paint and the beige camouflage spray paint and then went back again and reapplied some dark browns, burnt umber and used some Indian ink wash to create the shadowing that you see here. My next project is to add some ground cover particularly on the left hand side and some trees to finish out the look. Thank you for watching. Please share any comments or recommendations for improvement down below.